Hello everyone! In today's video I'm going to show you a zombie nurse design that has the, basically the only thing that makes her a zombie, or the only thing that makes her a nurse, is her little nurse's hat with the cross on the front. So if you didn't want it to be a nurse and just a generic zombie, then you could skip out on the hat and then you'd be good to go. I hope you like this as much as I do and don't forget to check out Helen's zombie nurse. Helen actually was a nurse so this is very near and dear to her heart and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. I'm going to begin by sculpting a really pretty gradient from a black to a silver or silver to black depending on which direction you want to look at it. So I start out with black acrylic that I'm going to blend towards the cuticle and then take down all the way to the tip and then take some silver acrylic that is ridiculously sparkly and I'll blend that from the cuticle zone down towards the tip as well. So I've got that nice gradient from silver at the cuticle area all smoothed out and blended into that black and then encapsulate the nail with a layer of clear acrylic to make sure that it is nice and super strong and protect that gradient as well as protecting that silver glitter. Silver glitters tend to always, when you file them, they turn from a very sparkly metallic into kind of like a scratchy, weird, dull color. So make sure that you don't let them be filed. So I'm going to file the nail into shape with my e-file to make sure that this nail is nice and strong and smooth and all of that great stuff. And now we can begin sculpting our zombie lady's face. So... For this zombie nurse, I did not want to go for the stereotypical green, like bright green color face like I did for the hand of my little graveyard hand that I did a couple days ago. So instead of going that route, I decided to do something a little bit more subtle and I used an off-white to, to start sculpting her face instead. And then I'm going to take a little dotting tool and I'm going to carve in a couple of little details. So I, that first little indent that I made right there is for her mouth. And then I'm going to do the same thing and kind of carve away at my acrylic for her eye sockets. My acrylic is really starting to set up. So I should have worked a little faster, I suppose, for this one. I can pick off some of that extra that I just pulled away. And it's no big deal because we're going to keep adding more layers to it. So it doesn't really matter that that was a little bit behind schedule. Add more details to her face with that off-white color. It's kind of a creamy, almost like a gray cream color. And I'm also going to take and make a very long slender neck for her. And you can use the tip of your brush to create a couple little lines coming down on her neck that'll give her neck a little bit of texture and make it look like she's got some extra loose skin there and like she's just skin and bones and there's no muscle anymore. And then I'm going to fill in the tip of the nail since I have just a little bit of nail left with that same color. And this is going to be for her chest area. And that's up to you whether, you know, how much of that you want to sculpt. I did give her a shirt. And so if you wanted to skip that part because you're like, well, it's going to be covered up anyway, that's just fine. I decided to sculpt it just so that it had kind of a base underneath and give it a little bit more realism to the di different shapes of the shirt on top. But then going back to her face, now that that first area has had a really long time to set up and solidify, I'm going to take and do some more layers on her face and give her some more different, you know, heights of her facial features. So I'm going to bring her chin out a little bit, add some more to her cheekbones, make her look really gaunt. Like she hasn't, I mean, she's a zombie, but you know, think of it like somebody that hasn't eaten for six months because they've been stranded on a desert island, you know, super thin, very prominent bone structure underneath that kind of a thing. So I got some more on her forehead and just keep going and doing layers that are thin. I am a proud advocate for doing a little bit by little bit and just kind of building up to the final result instead of trying to do things all at once and really rushing and then having issues. So now with the darker green, because I can't leave the green coloration out completely, I'm going to use that to add some shading. So I'm going to go in and fill in her eye sockets with that and then just kind of brush it with really, really thin acrylic, just sort of wash over the design and that'll give it a really nice green hue without looking intensely green if that makes sense so just a little bit here and there with that green color almost like she's molding and i've got some really nice things to say about this about this lady she's moldy and she hasn't eaten for six months but then i'm also going to be adding her a little bit of a nose and try to make her nose somewhere between a skeleton nasal cavity type of a look and a regular human nose that's got cartilage in it and everything else so it's kind of somewhere halfway in the middle but I'm going to be adding her hair with brown acrylic and I didn't have the shade of brown acrylic that I really wanted because I wanted one that was like just an almost black brown and all of my browns are more of this dark but reddish color so that wasn't exactly what I was going for so I ended up painting over it almost completely later on which you'll see but if you're looking at this brown and thinking well that's just not the right color I agree with you I'm not arguing whatsoever it isn't the right color but I fixed it don't worry so we're just going to go through and add all of that hair 
and if you happen to be a nurse um, like I know Helen who's doing this collaboration with me she used to be a nurse so if you are a nurse and you want to just get, add one more little layer of um, personalization to this design you could either you know match it to your hairstyle or if you wanted and you know somebody that's a nurse or you want to kind of like you know mess with somebody a little bit you can match it to them just to play around with it to make it a little bit more of a personalized situation but i'm going to give her a hat the little classic nurse's hat and i'm sorry i don't know the technical term so if somebody does you can definitely stick a comment in the comment section below and so i'm going to add a little bit more hair around the front and then she's got this lovely growth on her forehead so i'm going to add a couple little layers of acrylic to sort of build that up and that goes over the top of her hat so you have to go and kind of do things layer by layer so we've got that and and also slightly pushing down on her eye and then with some white acrylic i'm going to be filling in her eyeballs so i've got that first one sort of pat it in try to keep it contained within that eye area that we've already sculpted and worked on and then do the other one just kind of tap and pull it into the right shape and just kind of work on it back and forth you've got plenty of time with acrylic to tap it back and forth until you're happy with the shape Add a little bit more darkness into her mouth a little bit more acrylic here and there just look at it and anywhere where you feel needs to have more of a height or more of a color or anything you can just keep adding little bit by little bit until you are happy with the effect i'm going to add just a touch of that green on her her little growth and then just a little bit of white as well you can take some like um milky white acrylic sort of a sheer white and do some highlights on her and then the last detail you need to add is her shirt so i'm going to start by doing her shirt's collar and so to do that you just place down a little bit of white acrylic and sort of tuck it in around her neck and then pull it down around and then pat it out and i didn't want her shirt to look like it was symmetrical and even so i left the collar a little bit longer on one side versus the other and then you can just pull those different lapels down so she's got a split lapel so that's what i mean it wasn't symmetrical is that one side the upper part of it was longer than the other so i don't know if you guys can see how that's just a different length there but then i'm going to take some acrylic paint and i'm going to begin adding all of the shading and this is where a lot of her different you know different details that you sculpted in really become visible because i don't know if you guys are like me but sometimes as you're sculpting you're like i just don't see it i know that i have all of these wonderful details in there but where are they this is where you finally get to see how they really come to life so i'm going to do some black outlines everywhere i feel like they're necessary and for this nurse because i want it to be obvious that she's a nurse and not just some random zombie that happens to be wearing white you are going to want to do plenty of outlines and plenty of little details that really give you that nurse impression and if you have more space and you want to do something a little bit extra what i would do is i would definitely sculpt her arm and her hand holding a blood-filled syringe because i saw so many different uh, artist renditions of zombie nurses when I was doing research for this design where they were holding that blood filled syringe and I absolutely loved that idea and I I just decided to keep this one a little bit less um, extravagant I suppose you could say so I did not include that but if you wanted to do something extra crazy definitely add that blood filled syringe because that would just be so cool and if you do please take me in your recreations on Facebook and Instagram because I would just be so excited to see them and so then I'm going to do little details on her face with some brown so you don't want to just go straight in with black for everything definitely do some diluted brown paint for different shading on her face black would just be too much but either a brown or like a mossy green would be perfect and then with a creamy color a very bright creamy color you can do some highlights as you can see on my thumb i mixed brown and white together i always use my thumb as a palette when i'm sculpting kind of these kind of things because um it's acrylic paint and acrylic paint is non-toxic so it doesn't really matter if you do it that way now if you're using gel paint you don't want to use your skin as a palette you want to make sure that you either have a glove on or that you use an actual palette for that instead of you know just your flesh um, actually i used some very pale yellow on her eyes to make them not quite so white and i'm going to take some darker red and add just a little bit here and there kind of a burgundy color give her just a couple different colors the great thing with a zombie is that you know there's are there aren't any exact rules for what they have to look like so some of it is completely up to interpretation and what you want to do i gave her teeny tiny little pin sized pupils do some outlines around her hat 
just a little bit add some little hairs that are sticking up and around and just keep adding details until you're happy with her like i said i wanted her to be obviously a nurse and part of that comes from the red cross on her hat but just there's a kind of look you like especially to the clothes and stuff that i really wanted her to have so you can add details until you're happy with it and don't forget that red cross though on the hat that part is vital for this so add that little cross and then after you have all that done, I'm going to apply a layer of gel sealer over the background and really let that silver glitter shine. And then some matte top coat over my zombie nurse. And that is it. I am so impressed by this one. You guys, I absolutely love the way she turned out. Her skin has that kind of papery zombie look to it without having to be super green. So I hope you guys like it as much as I do. And please share any recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram. I would love to see them. And I will see you next time. Bye.